Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Houston, this is Station. We are ready for the event. Steve Stitch, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call Station for a voice check. Hey, Kate and Hopper, this is Steve. Uh, good afternoon. How do you hear me? Steve, we hear you great. Good to see you guys again. Hey, uh, I'm just here to talk to you a little bit about what's been going on on station. You know, uh, big anniversary for the commercial crew program coming up on Monday. You've got a big event on Monday, I think, as well. Hopper, you're going to take uh, Resilience out for a little uh, hop around the station. So uh, just here to chat with you guys and, and talk to you a little bit about everything that's going on. Uh, are you excited about moving the Resilience on Monday? Yeah, Steve, uh, we're very excited about it, and uh, we'd like to say congratulations on, on behalf of uh, the whole Expedition 64 team as well as the Crew 1 Dragon team. Uh, congratulations to the Commercial Crew Program for 10 years. Uh, what an amazing uh, 10 years it has been. And uh, to, to think about where you had started and where we are now, and, and now we're getting ready to actually take this uh, vehicle out for a little spin, a little hop, I love that, <laughs> around station to a, to a new uh, docking port. I think that's uh, fantastic. I think it's a great demonstration of a capability, and uh, we're all very excited to, to be able to be a part of it. Yeah, I was just thinking, you know, it's an exciting time for a commercial crew. Uh, I was thinking back to last year, and we were really getting ready for two flights at that time. Uh, the Demo 2 flight and, and your flight, Hopper, and, and now we're about to do our port relocate and getting set up for uh, the Crew 2 launch and, and everything that we've really been planning to do for this program, doing a direct handover. Uh, and then also, you know, a busy year for us too, uh, not only with this flight, uh, flying up the Crew 2 mission in, in April, April 22nd, and then uh, getting the Boeing vehicles flying as well. So I was thinking back, we sort of had two flights last year and now this year we've got four flights and a port relocate and all these activities. And, and so it's just the activity is really ramped up for us. It's an ex exciting time for us on the ground. Kate, why don't you talk yeah, a little bit I about- Yeah, th I oh, think go. that's what- uh, oh. oh, go ahead. No, I, I was just I was just gonna say, I think that's uh, showing the results of 10 years of hard work and, and uh, this uh, rhythm of flights and all of that, I, I think that's very important, very important for the station. I think actually I'll be you know, excited to hear what Kate has to say about the fact of having uh, five of us up here. It's really, I think, been enabling um, for the station and, and what we can do up here. And, and so um, I, I think it's a great thing and uh, really looking forward to this year. Yeah, th thanks, Hopper. We are too. Kate, what's it been like having uh the full complement of people we've been planning for a long time, extra people there to do science. I know I've been watching the EVAs. It's been awesome watching you guys go outside, Hopper, and do a lot of good work for the space station program. What's it been like having the additional people for science? Yeah, it's truly wonderful to see Space Station really at its full capacity. Um, I got to notice the difference. I was uh, up here as the sole USOS crew member for about a month before these guys came here. And they came through the hatch, and I was sure glad to see them. I was so excited. Uh, it, of course, it was an incredibly beautiful launch and, and just pretty amazing to watch it from the Space Station and to see the first operational flight and to see this this uh, crew of four come up here. But then I was just very personally glad to welcome friends through the hatch. And it's been wonderful to see what it's done for the space station. We are busy on any given day. We have maintenance going on. We have a lot of science. It really increases our science capability. And for example, when we were doing EVAs, uh, you know, we were able to have four people really fully focused on EVAs and, and Shannon, uh, was able to keep all of the station things running that we normally uh, have to stop when we get into EVA season. So we kept science running and maintenance. And so it's just, it's been incredible to see about four or five different uh, huge science projects going on at the same time and everybody uh, being uh, uh, fully employed and at their busiest up here. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I've been watching you guys hard at work. Uh, Kate, you got to do a port relocate, uh, God, about oh, two weeks ago? And Soyuz, what do they have to look forward to? Hopper and, and Ike and, and Suichi and Shannon, what do they have to look forward to when they back away from the station, about, go out about 60 meters and do this, I call it a big hop around to the, uh, to the Zenith port? 
Yeah, it's a pretty amazing thing to do a, a fly around. And this is, you know, for the folks that are watching, this is not just a, a pleasure trip. This is really important checking out of capabilities. And so uh, this is it's a really critical milestone for these Crew-1 folks. Uh, for me personally, I had not done a port relocate. I had not done one in 2016. And so that was a, it was completely new. It's all of the, the uh, fun and the work of uh, undock day plus all of the fun and the work of, of docking day. And so it can be, it's a lot of activity um, but it's pretty cool and it is quite an amazing view to separate from your vehicle that's been your home for months uh, and, and to be able to look at it from from 60 meters I think these guys are going to be so busy but I hope we have some really good high definition cameras on the ground so they can see this later yeah Stephen I'd like to just add you know I mean the, the Soyuz did do the relocate but for the Soyuz I believe right it's all manual flying from the undock all the way around to the docking and of course, in our vehicle, it's going to be all automatic, and the the manual is just as a backup role, and and so I think that's uh, also that's kind of a neat thing about this is it just shows the difference, uh, but also the same kind of capability, and so there's uh, there's a lot of different ways to accomplish the same thing, and and we're excited to try out this uh, this new way, this new automatic uh, port relocate. Yeah, and we're we're looking forward to it as well, and we've been you know preparing on the ground. We've had the DMMT Dragon Mission Management Team and and making sure the vehicle's ready to go. So, so I know, you know, it's gonna be Easter here on Sunday in the U.S. I don't know if you have any Easter egg hunts planned or I know what's your Sunday gonna be like as, as you get ready for this port relocate hopper. Yeah, my Easter egg hunt is going to be making sure I didn't leave anything in Dragon <laughs> since I've been staying in there for the past four and a half, five months. So I think that's what I need to make sure. <laughs> Yeah, I guess Sunday is going to be really busy, but, you know, before we do the port relocate, we'll wake Dragon up. Uh, you know, it's been largely uh, quiescent for, for these four and a half months. I guess we're going to check out the C2V2 system, the, the communication system between station uh, and, uh, and Dragon, and we'll get him to do some suit checkouts. You did that, I guess, earlier. I guess all that went well, Mike. Yeah, the suit the suit fit check went very well. Um, it was all basically a passive uh, fit check in the sense that we didn't actually crawl in the seats with it, have the cabin fans going or the suit fans going, and and do a suit leak check or anything of that nature. So we just wanted to make sure they fit, um, that all the zippers, everything was still functional, uh, no fod or anything like that that might uh, cause us problems on on Monday. So that all went very well. We got a good comm check with the. Um, with the system plugged in as well, and, and so we're we're taking it step by step, uh, but I think we're going to be ready on uh, Monday morning, bright and early. That sounds great. What about the rest of the month of April? You're going to have lots of visitors. Uh, I guess we've got a Soyuz crew coming up in a rotation, and then you know we've got our, our rotation with Crew Two coming up, uh, Crew One going back home. And what's it going to be like over the next? few weeks. It's going to be like a bunch of visitors coming to, to hang out with you guys for a little while. It is, it's always exciting to get new friends up here, and, and these are folks that we uh, we know really well. Um, uh, a lot of us have been working together for for ten years or even longer, so we're pretty excited. It does get very busy. Um, these folks are, are are taking over for increment sixty five, and so we do our best to hand over station operations to them. And while we're doing that, we're still going to get our full scientific program and maintenance program executed. Uh, I think it's going to be it, it. We're going to keep the ground hopping. So uh, you know, to the station program. Program. You guys better watch out because we are going to have a full house up here. I think it'll be fun. I love all these references to hopping and hopping. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fantastic. And, you know, and, and that is the interesting thing. You know, Kate talked about we've got uh, five new crew members. Well, actually, uh, eight new crew members that are going to be coming up here. And, and so not only are we going to be welcoming them, um, doing a handover with them, but at the same time, we're all going to be getting ready to come home. And, and that also means uh, we've got a lot of work just to do to make sure that's, that, that we're ready to leave and that we leave the station in uh, hopefully a better condition than, than when we arrived. All right. Well, hey, it was great talking to you today. Um, you know, I represent the whole commercial crew program team, our NASA team, Boeing and SpaceX. You know, I can't thank that team enough how hard they've worked to get your flight uh, there on station. We continue to watch over you, Hopper, and uh, getting the crew two ready, guys ready to go and lots of activities. Anything you want to say as your final closing thoughts to, to our program uh, before we wrap it up today? 
before we wrap it up today? Yeah, you, you bet, Steve. Um, you know, I think uh, Crew One, we are definitely very grateful, very humble, um, and very honored to be able to play a role in uh, the small role in, in what uh, you and the contractors and NASA, the whole team has done over the past 10 years. I, I think this is really a testament to uh, an amazing, uh, amazing amount of work. Um, I think it also really highlights uh, just how powerful this team is. When you bring NASA and you bring these contractors together, you get the best of both worlds, and, and I think we're seeing the results of that. And the other thing I'd just like to add to that is it is enabling and uh, this more privatization of the space world as well. And I think, you know, you talked about our launches, how many launches you have this year, but there's also, you know, talk about some private launches happening this year as well. And and I think that's something that the commercial crew program should be proud of as well, because you are enabling that to happen. All of the hard work over the last 10 years is, is making that possible. And so uh, just uh, absolutely um, thrilled with, with what you've done and the fact that we get to be a part of it and, and just really want to say congratulations, job well done. But I will also say we've got some uh, pretty big milestones coming up and, uh, and so let's uh, not take our foot off the gas and make sure we're uh, still keeping our eye on the ball. Yeah, yeah thank you, Mike. Uh, we plan to do that. Yeah, you know, yeah, we plan you. to watch over you very carefully and uh, thank you for your time today. It's been great talking to you guys and I look forward to seeing you both back here real soon. Station. This is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you, Steve Stitch. Station Houston, please stand by while we reconfigure video and audio communication.